Hello, my friends. Welcome to Your Greatest Heart in the Living Inside. This is Donna Reiners, and I have a scripture for you tonight, or today, or in the morning, whenever it is you're seeing this, out of Philippians 4, and it is verse uh, 12 through 13. For I'm trained, actually, I know what it means to lack. I know what it means to experience overwhelming abundance. For I am trained in the secret of overcoming all things, whether in fullness or in hunger. And I have found that the strength of Christ's explosive power infuses me to conquer every difficulty. That is a strong statement from Paul. He wrote this specific statement while he was in prison. He was writing to the Philippians who were under great persecution. And clearly he was under persecution because he was thrown in prison. But look what he said about his peace. Look what he said about his inner world. His inner world had been trained in the secret of overcoming all things, whether in fullness or hunger. He'd found the strength of Christ's explosive power infusing him to conquer every difficulty. To conquer every difficulty. You have difficulties. I have difficulties. And sometimes we give up too soon. Sometimes we think that one step is just too much and we won't make it. And so we stop and we cripple ourselves and we find ourselves weaker the day after because we didn't take that step the day before. It's like an exercise program. I tell you what, we started an exercise program, not yesterday, but day before. But yesterday we didn't do one thing that was on our plan. Now today we will be, but it's like we took off Sunday from exercising when honestly, what we put on the list to do is very simple, very easy. But we didn't feel good. We got distracted and just did not become a priority for us. So what does that mean? That means that we are not as strong today as we would have had we taken the steps yesterday in that area to strengthen ourselves. There is a place inside where there is an infused strength of power from the ones who live inside of you and the ones who live inside of me. What is the midnight oil? What is the oil inside of you? It is not scripture reading. It is not memorizing. The oil inside of you is the person of Christ. It's the person of the Father. It's the person of the Spirit. It's those three living inside of you, the one. It's you and me practicing listening, hearing, receiving, and Finding the place of contentment, the place of peace on the inside, that whether we are abound, which means we have a lot, or whether we are in lack, which, we, which means we have little to nothing, that the inside of us is undisturbed by the physical circumstances that we have faced, the difficulties that we have faced, you and I get to decide that when we are facing these strong difficulties of lack, these strong difficulties that come when we are in abundance, these strong difficulties that come in our lives, in the lives of those around us, when people look to us and need help, or when we look to someone else for help, that we can find our help, <clears throat> but we find it when we're in a place of peace. I don't believe that God wants us to lose our peace. I don't believe it is his will that we fall to pieces. I know that there's provision for when we fall to pieces. There is provision for when we're not in peace. There is provision. It is the person who is our provider inside of us. He is peace. And so we always have peace. But do we lean in? Do we rely on? Do we know the peace intimately? Or do we run away from it? When we hit a wall, when we hit something that wants to just slam us, when we hit something that wants to hurt us, when we hit something where someone is angry with us or calls us bad words or tells us we're this, that, and the other when we're not anything like that, or maybe we are like that and we get faced with a new truth, what are we going to do? What are you going to do? What am I going to do? There is a place of oil inside of you and me where we can lean into intimacy, 
where we can listen and hear the voice that is more than near. The voice is inside. They are here. I bless you today. I bless you. I bless you. I'm going to read this one more time because it is a brilliant, brilliant word. I know what it means to lack, and I know what it means to experience overwhelming abundance, for I'm trained in the secret of overcoming all things, whether in fullness or in hunger. And I find that the strength of Christ's explosive power infuses me to conquer every difficulty. I bless you today as you lean in to the Father, Son, and Spirit who live inside of you that are not leaving you when you're in pieces, not leaving you when you're in lack, not leaving you when you're in abundance, and not leaving you when you're even in peace. Listen, God is with you no matter what. No matter what, he's with you. And in that place where he's with us, let's lean in. Let's cultivate this intimacy that's for you and for me. And let's see what God does with people that know him in this place of strong, powerful intimacy. Living and moving and breathing and having our being in a place of oil. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. This is Donna. Until soon. Bye-bye.